Hello, thanks for joining me for another celebration post. It's our last week of celebration out of the whole three months and I can't believe it, it's just flown by. But we've had some amazing products to play with and I hope you've enjoyed seeing my weekly posts focusing on celebration items. I've come back to the Hello Cupcake stamp set this week. I really love it and I haven't really played with it enough. I really like it so I'm gonna make something with it. And I wanted to show you what I'm going to do because I had an idea. Right, this is the cu this is the stamp set. It's called Hello Cupcake. It has a cupcake case and some frosting and some more frosting and some little kind of embellishments um, included with some sprinkles. Excuse me, I have a cold and some lovely sentiments in that. It makes great cards. But today I thought I'd play with our baker's boxes. Let me see. I've got them here. They come in a pack of eight these baker's boxes and they're really lovely you could fit a lovely big cupcake in one of these which was my idea that this would be a cupcake box and it would be great for a birthday party you know we've got a few coming up this year I've got uh, one turning 18 uh, I've got one turning 21 and I've also got a special birthday myself and I'll leave you to guess what that is <laughs> anyway here we go so it can't they come flat and then all you literally have to do is fold in the score lines. They're all ready made and simple. So I'm going to assemble one of these and then show you how I'm going to decorate it and personalise it for a party. I thought this would be great to give out as gifts at the end of a party with a cake in. If you were having uh, cupcakes instead of one big cake, this is ideal for people to take them home with. Right. So you just literally assemble it. That's that's as difficult as it gets, which is great. Just pop it together. Bob's your uncle. Did I do that bit? Let's go that bit. There we are. And that's the box itself. So that comes as made. Not difficult. Except for I'm all fingers and thumbs when you are on a video, aren't you? And my cold's not helping. There we go. I'm just going to tuck the front flap in as well. They're not that hard. I just made it look like it. <laughs> there you go. There. Cute little box with a little acetate window on the top so you can see your cake or your cookies. How nice would that be for a whole stack of cookies in there? So that's that. I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to start with some stamping. So I bought three of my favourite pastel colours for this for this stamping. I bought in crumb cake, which I'm going to use for the cake case, the cupcake case. Sorry, that's my arm. I'm just literally going to stamp it here. Like that. And then... There's some frosting and I'm going to do the frosting in powder pink. You could have any cake you like. You could have a chocolate cake if you wanted. I'm doing mine in powder pink. And they just fit in onto the cupcake case. Then for the big piece of frosting. just goes on the top it's really easy to do like that nice okay and then I'm going to come back to the mint mint macaron and put our little cake topper on there it's like a little heart candy cake topper I think and I'm going to pop that one in it's been one of my favourite stamp sets this has. So fun. That's cool. Now, when I was at it, when I was preparing this earlier on, I stamped it again. I stamped the cake and the case again. And I cut them out. Um, if you have the framelits, that would be simpler. But honestly, it's quite a simple shape to cut out. So I cut the, I stamped it again and cut it out. I didn't think you wanted to see me doing all my cutting out. It's a bit boring. This is the simplest one to cut out. Obviously, it's just straight lines. So I've cut those out. And they're going to go on top in a minute. But before I do that, I'm going to use one of my circle dies. The, the layering circle dies. There's a set of these. I use mine all the time, but I'll show you them. 
layering circle, circle framelits. And you get a lot of those. So they layer up with the plain circles and the scallop circles. And you get a ton in there. And I'm going to use one of these. You get, I'll tell you how many is in the packet. And they all nest. There is 16 in there. So rather a lot, which is grand. So I'm using this one. Now on my blog at inkstampshare.ink, I'll tell you exactly which one of these I've used for what, because we're using a couple of these. So you'll know what size. Okay, so I'm just gonna run it through my big shot, which I've got right here. So hold fire there a second. And you'll hear the cranking noise. It's a bit noisy, but that's normal. There we go, sorry if I'm wobbling you. Oops, I mean, okay. Here we have it. Yeah, so there's that. So I've cut it with that one. There. And earlier on, I used this uh, this bigger one to cut out a different colour. I cut out the mint, the mint that I've used in the uh, ink. I cut it out in this bigger one to layer it up. And I also used one of the stitch circle framelit dies, uh, the stitch shaped framelits. And you get circles, you get squares. Look at the state of this. Do you think I might need some magnetic sheets? <laughs> you get squares, you get ovals. You get circles, you get lots of shapes in that one with a stitched relief on it. So I've used, look at the state of it as well, it's been used and used and used. So I've used that one as well and I'll cut that out in the pink, which is here like that. You can see the stitching around the outside. So powder pink, mint macaron and whisper white are the colours I've used with a little bit of crumb cake. And I'm just going to layer these up. So I've got two now, but I only need one. All right, let's pop that out of the way. That was my practice one. Okay, I'm going to grab some of our sticky foam pads as well. No, that's my box. I'm just going to decide what I'm going to do with it. So easy. So I'm going to pop it on the box on the acetate window. So I'm actually going to glue the pink layer onto the mint macaron layer to start with, if I can get it to come out. And this is the Tombow Multipurpose Adhesive. I love this glue. It's really strong. Won't come off. <laughs> so it layers, do you see how it leaves a nice scallop circle edge? Nice. Like that. And then that will layer on there eventually, but I'm going to put some ribbon around it as well. And I want to go, it, want it to go through the middle. So let's bring my box back in and grab my powder pink ruffled edged ribbon. It's called powder pink mini ruffled ribbon. And it's so pretty, look. How nice is that? And I'm gonna put that around my box. So I'm going to put some of the sticky foam pads on the back of my circle. So I want it so that I can get my ribbon to go on and use that to anchor it with as well. Like that. So I know that it's going to go on there. So I'm going to take one of these one edge of the ribbon and pop it in the middle. Might put another one on, shall I? Like that. We've got lots of parties this year. I think this will be great instead of having a massive cake. Everyone could take a cupcake home with them if they wanted, couldn't they? I think it needs a few more so it doesn't bow. Let's go mad. <laughs> okay, now. I've got to work out exactly where this is going to come back through. And I need it to be able to go on and off my box. So it's only going to be that big. 
that much. Let's give it a chop. There we are. So that's going to go on there now. I haven't practiced this, so I'm hoping it'll go on and off the box. No, I've told you it will. Ugh. I don't want it to be too long either, actually. Let's move that. Talk about crafting on the hoof, on the, on the fly. I'll just stick it to the box, but not to the... There we go. So the idea being it will go on like that, but it's going to be on the, on the top. Right, okay, we're just going to go for it and hope for the best, and I can always adjust it. This one. That's why it wouldn't go on. It's the wrong one. So it's like a belly band, but for your cupcake box. It makes it just look really pretty. Oh yeah, I think that's going to look nice on there. So I can take it off again. Now I know it fits. And take the rest of these off. Plenty of sticky. I'm going to pop it on there so it goes on the layers. You can just about see the stitching. That's really pretty. I love those colours. Nice, isn't it? I hope it fits on now. Let's try it, shall we, before I do any more? <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, no, it fits perfectly. It fits, it fits. Right, let's take it off again and we'll finish it. So, I cut the cupcake out with my hands, Fussy cut that out earlier on to fit on there to give it a bit more dimension. But before I do that, I'm gonna give it a bit of Wink of Stella. If you've not seen Wink of Stella before, it's a clear glitter brush and it's got a very subtle shine. I don't know if you can see the sparkle, very subtle sparkle to it. And I'm gonna color in my icing so that it sparkles. It's really pretty. I go through phases of using tons of this stuff and it you know, everything gets sparkled. Because it's not too much, it's really subtle. There we are. Don't know if you can see the, the sparkle. Don't know, but it, it looks lovely. Okay. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is after I put the wink of Stella on, I'm gonna put some sprinkles on my cake in the mint macaron with a sprinkle stamp. There we go. All I need now is a cupcake. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to stick these on with some sticky foam pads too. Give them a bit more dimension again. That's it. Didn't want to pick up. You can make a nice little production line to make if you had a party, I think. Wouldn't take much. That one on there, and then that one's going to go on there. And then I've got one more finishing touch to it. There we go. Put that on. Like that. Let's pop it on. So fun. I like that a lot. That little idea has been whirring around in my head for weeks. There we are. We have a nice little belly band. On there. There we go. Oh, I put it on sideways. I'm so silly. That's because I'm not thinking straight because of the silly cold I've got. I'm going to personalise this cupcake a bit more. 
Now, have you seen our large lettuce dies that you can get? I love these. I use them for all sorts of things. Lots of scrapbook pages, but, you know, cards and all sorts of good packaging. You can get dies with large letters. I've made some lovely, um, what's the, eclipse cards with these. These are stunning, these. And you've got the whole alphabet in all of the letters and some symbols as well. So I've just taken one of these. I've taken a K, this one. And I've cut out in the same colour cardstock, a K in pink and a K in mint. K in mint. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together and make a little shadow K. Not too much glue though. Ooh. Right, okay, I'm just going to pop that on there just so it makes it pop a little bit and you can see both the colours. Let's pick it up, it's easier. It's easier, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, it just kind of shadows it if you get two together. And then I know that I've got my handheld hole punch, I'm not sure if it'll go through two layers, but we'll have a go. I'm going to punch a hole in it. Wish me luck. Oh. Yeah, that works. Nice. Yay, so I've got that. And I'm going to tie it on. Let's move all my equipment out of the way. I'm going to tie it on. Tie it on so you can personalise your cake to your guest. So just take a bit of the baker's twine. Ha, huh, that's aptly named. This is actually the linen thread. But if you had some of the powder pink, oh, mine's over there. Anyway, powder pink baker's twine, that would look pretty too. And I'm just gonna tie it on. So you just need a bit. Tie it on. How cute would that be? Because it kind of matches the uh, crumb cake. I'm happy. It doesn't take much to make me happy, does it? <laughs> happy with that. Happy with that. Even with the fiddly bow tying part hasn't put me off. But I want quite a little one, little bow. I don't want a great big floppy one. You could probably do a much better job than me. I hadn't I hadn't practiced this, so you can probably make a better way of doing it. And I probably will by the time it's photographed and popped on my blog with all the dimensions. It'll probably look a bit better than this. Let's just chop that one off. But you get the general idea. You get your bow. Okay. And then you give them out. You give them out to the... That's for me, obviously. <laughs> um, and the best thing in it would be there'd be a cake in there. So I hope you like it. It was just a bit of an inspired idea by the cupcake to use the baker's boxes. Really simple little project that you could use. I hope you've been enjoying Celebration as well. We've still got nearly a week left. If there are things that you'd like to get, we've still got nearly all of them in stock. There's just a couple that have sold out, but they will go and they won't be available after Celebration. So do try and get your hands on them while you can. The cupcake stamp set is free with a £45 order at my online shop at inkstampshare.ink. So do go over there and browse. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and click the little bell down below for notification of future videos. Have a look at the uh, products I've used over at inkstampshare.ink. Thanks for stopping by.